I saw a child upon a tree. Ooh, he looked so free, it bothered me. And as he climbed, my name is Art Cohn, C O H N. I've been the uh, co founder and director of the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum since it was. Like we founded 28 years ago. Uh, in the last several years, I have become the what they call the senior advisor, which means I get to uh, manage, plan, and travel with the Lois McClure uh, on these extended cruises now. Uh, I captain the tugboat. Uh, I present myself as the historian. I'm also the diver who's done a lot of the original research on this and uh, wrote the book on it. So I'm the guy that uh, I'm, I'm uh, probably what you call the authority on sailing canal boats from Lake Champlain. So in 1980, we found a shipwreck on the bottom of Lake Champlain that looked exactly like this boat did, but we weren't sure uh, what it was. We uh, knew it was a canal boat based on its dimensions, but it also looked like it had elements of sailing uh, apparatus on it uh, in attempting to determine what that all meant. Uh, I was told by canal historians of the day that uh, there had never been canal boats in North America that sailed, uh, and I uh, believed them, but could not explain why we actually had one. So here we are, we're in the ninth year of uh, traveling this boat. Uh, it's become so interesting and successful that most of the crew have been aboard from the very beginning and I have uh, happily adjusted my role so that I can uh, go off with this boat for, in this case, uh, four months at a time, uh, visit 40 communities, uh, talk to literally thousands of people about the history and archaeology of the region, the preservation of the shipwrecks, uh, and so that's basically what we're doing and why we're here in Medina tonight. These boats were typically owned and operated by families, just like the independent trucker of the day. Um, the crew was a man, his wife, and one other adult. That adult might be a hired man if all their children were small, but if they had boys, like these boys that were just in here, 15, 16 years old, they would be the crew. And this was their home. They lived here all year round, mom and dad in one bed, all the kids in the other, the older boys would sleep up forward, and this was their life. The, wall, the doorway there that you came through wouldn't be there. It would be a solid wall. What was everything? It was the whole home. Living room, dining room, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, everything. This is a freight hauler. It carried stone. It carried agricultural products in season, so apples, grain, hay, uh, bricks, sand. If you can imagine it, and it could move, Medina Sandstone would have moved on a boat like this. So it, it, it carried all kinds of heavy products. It was That was the great design of the boat. It could carry well over 100 tons of cargo from place to place, being towed by horses and mules. So it was, it had a niche for a time, uh, and uh, now we get to talk about it to people. And one last question, you say it's a schooner. Just, what is a schooner for the layman? 
It's a it's a sailing vessel. They made both sloops and schooners, one masted and two masted vessels. The ones that we modeled from the 1860s 60s were two masted gaff rig schooners of a particular type and design that by then made it uh, easier and with less crew to operate. And so uh, it was again uh, uh, an economical way to move this boat on its own power, on its own schedule, without paying for a ride from a steamboat, and that was the, the logic behind it. By the 1860s and 70s, that cost-benefit was becoming less attractive, and by, by that time period, they were really stopping building this class of boat.